Hey guys. Sup, foodies. It's Kylie and Mason here bringing you Minneapolis's hidden gems. Gem number one, we got Pig, Pig ate, ate My, my pizza. pizza. Otherwise, the locals call it Pam. Pam. <laughs> this first restaurant was referred to us by friend and peer Jordan Schindler. She's got a great set of taste buds, so I trust her, but we're not totally there. We guys got to go check it out ourselves. We had to do our own research, and for this, we went to Wikipedia. They described it as a high-energy pizza joint serving imaginative pies and amid a pig-themed decor, whatever that means. <laughs> so we decided to grade it on our own types of categories. Category number one? Atmosphere. Also, the price. Is the price worth the food? Another interesting point that we will be looking into is the most interesting items on the menu. Um, and then we also got the wow factor. Does it have anything that gives us a like, wow? Wow. Wow. All right, so we're outside picking up my pizza. It's beautiful out here. Really nice day out too. So what I really love about the atmosphere is the hints of pink everywhere. We just talked to the waiter and we asked her about the menu and she was very nice, very nice to me. And she told us a little about us. We decided to go with the piggy pie, which is one of the best sellers, and the big cheeser. Alright, so I got the hop lemonade. It says fresh house-made lemonade seasoned with pig ate my pizza hops. And let me just give it a little taste. It's really good. It doesn't really taste like lemonade. It almost tastes like like it's like sparkling lemonade little bit of bubble to it, you know? A little fizz, that's what I like to see. So what I got was the Pups Cup, which is a slushy with like pink lemonade, strawberry, cucumber. Obviously the presentation for this drink is just out of this world. We love a little umbrella, this leaf action, and like a dried, I don't know, orange? <laughs> Good, it tastes very like fresh. Wow, that's really good. I have sesame chicken in a way. These are phenomenal. I totally recommend this. Um, finished with a bacon emulsion, so we make mayonnaise out of bacon fat. Cool. Uh, finishing touches on this one are. Fresh oregano leaves, black pepper, and fennel pollen, pepperoni flowers, and marinara to dips. We just had our first couple slices of the piggy pie, and it is amazing. I love the pepperoni. I think you can show the pepperoni. How they make it a little circle. So fun. So different. Love those little touches. The cheese is like perfectly melted in the middle, and I love the spices. Thoughts on the piggy pie. Um, I'm usually just like a straight cheese pizza gal, and I like don't really like pepperoni, but the little like tornado shape pepperoni <laughs> made it like pretty fun. Um, white sauce over the pizza. I didn't really love it. They make it out of like bacon fat, which sounded like super good, but it's kind of weird. It's like a bacon flavored mayo. So I didn't really love that. But other than that, this pizza might have changed me over to like a sausage girl. I don't know. <laughs> Your big cheeser has cheese curds on it that we marinate in herbed garlic oil, soft cooked egg, uh, chives, feathered parmesan, and parmesan cheese foam. Ooh, baby. <laughs> so we just finished our first few pieces of the Big Cheeser. I have to say I'm a big fan of it. So the Big Cheeser was like just so much cheese and then there's an egg in the middle. And the egg was actually a welcome addition. So we had like pies with the Big Cheeser. Um, I loved it. The egg was super good. I love eggs on my pizza and so like I was really excited for it. I have these cheese curds on it. It really worked out. I love the cheese curds. Um, but yeah, like Cody said, we both love the crust of this. It's like perfect and super thick, how I like it. But the taste of both of them are amazing. But yeah, I love both our picks. So, we decided that we weren't going to get ice cream, but then our amazing server brought us some. Are you wants to try because they make their own ice cream here. 
After further inspection, this is probably some of the best ice cream of my life. Oreo, the consistency, like, it's unmatched. It's, it was amazing. And the funfetti over here had little bits of cake in it that just, like, made it so good. And now we're going to turn it over to our ice cream expert, Ben & Jerry's employee, Mason McHugh. Alright, so like Kylie said, I work at Ben & Jerry's. I've been scooping there for about two years now. So I'm a hard critic to get, but let me tell you what about it. So we got the Funfetti, and it is birthday cake Funfetti explosion. I love it. I love it. They have little bits of cake in it, which go complement it very well. Then let's get to the Oreo. So the Oreo, uh, it was like almost had like the Oreos were melted in with the ice cream, so it was very good, and it was like very sweet, which I love about the flavor. And I love how they had like chocolate ice cream. It complemented the Oreo very well. And it's probably better than the sweet cream and cookies at my work. Not going to Okay, we are done eating and we are going to do our grades now. Okay, Mason, what do you think about the atmosphere? 7.2. I thought it was like a really fun like pizza restaurant place and I loved uh, the location that it's in, the decorations and all that stuff. It fit really well together. What about you, Kylie? <laughs> Okay, I would give the atmosphere about like a 6.5 because kind of the vibe of a modern restaurant in some places and in other places, it was like, I don't know, it just wasn't there for me, it just wasn't there. But I did like how it's like part brewery too, that's one of the main draws of the restaurant, and there was like, they had it so that everyone can see when they're eating, if you're eating inside. So I thought that was cool, but I have to stick with the 6.5. Alright Mason, what did you think about the timing of the, like getting your food? Uh, for the pork nogs, the time was like really quick. And then it made sense for the pizza. They said that it's like made to order. So it makes sense that it takes really long. So we kind of like, we also were the only ones in there. So it was like the perfect circumstances to get the best time. So that's why I gave it an eight. Cause I think it was like the perfect like circumstances for us to get the quickest time possible. Cause we were like the only ones there. So I bet this was the best that we're gonna get. I also gave the time about an eight because I did feel like we got everything pretty fast. Our next category is price. Kylie, what do you think about that? Okay, so first of all, um, when we were reading the menu, we noticed that they add a 21% tip. Like, they just add a 21% yeah. tip. It doesn't even go, like, directly to your server. It just goes to, like, the company as a whole. So that's kind of, that was, like, kind of super, super annoying. <laughs> Altogether, our meal was, like, $71, $72, and that seemed super super expensive so when we split it in half it was like $35 and I think that might have been the first time in my life I ever spent $35 on yeah I've never <laughs> spent that much either so that was kind of shocked mm -hmm. when we saw the total so I would give that like a 4.8 <laughs> I gave it a 5 because we did order those drinks which I did see they were like $8 or something like that which I like I think if you're gonna come here do not get the drinks they were good but they're not worth that much like how much should i start <laughs> <laughs> no i gave the taste like a 6.2 thanks mason <laughs> i didn't really love the pizzas but on the other hand i am more of a conservative pizza gal i don't really branch out <laughs> besides like cheese so it's nice to try those things but i don't know i i wasn't a huge fan but that might just be me so I gave it a, a solid 7 because they did have some crazy pizzas. Okay, so for interesting menu item, we ordered the two like fancy drinks, as you know, and we kind of expected that to be like the interesting item that we would... That was kind of the point why we got them. <laughs> <laughs> but they honestly turned out to be a little bit disappointing. Um, and then... They were, they were fun. They just weren't like super tasteful. Like they were like good, but they weren't like... Oh my god. Yeah. Like, they know. were good, but not $20 worth of good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Oh, what my actually interesting menu item, even though it's not like a mind-blowing idea, was the Oreo ice cream. I have to give it to them. It was the best Oreo ice cream I've ever had in my life. Mine was also the ice cream by like the Funfetti one, and I thought it was so cool because they do, do make it, and they gave it to us for free because yeah. they saw we were recording, <laughs> and they are like, here you go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so the last one is, not the last one, wow factor. What is, so the wow factor, we decided to also just lump in our overall grade. So it's out of 40. And so what was your final score? 
Well, my final score was 25.5, but I'll bump it up a few points because they gave us free ice cream. So I'll bump mine up to like 30.5. Great. Um, so mine was 27.2, and it seems really low, but I actually really liked this place. The only reason which I think affected it was the pricing, which was just pretty spendy. And then also, I think everything was really good, and yeah. And now the real question you guys are waiting for. Would we come again? That's right. Well, Kylie, <laughs> would you come again? I don't think I would come again for dinner if I had to pay for myself, but I don't really think I would come again for the pizza. I would come again for the ice cream. Um, I think I'd come again for sure because there are other onions on the food on the item. Mm, ooh. <laughs> food on the menu that I would want to try because they have like. They have fun pizzas and stuff like that, and they also have a lot of fun appetizers. I also think my dad would love this place, so I would want him to pay for, for me, too. Aww, <laughs> that's nice of you. <laughs> yeah, I just love that one guy. But yeah, so I would come again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 hey, guys. Oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So my thoughts on the, what was it? The Yelp review gave it a 4 out of 10. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>